hi today in this video i'm going to show you how to make hydrogen gas at home so this one here is hydrogen gas and this is a test for hydrogen gas so we started our experiment by using a mix of ashes so here is a wood ashes that has been burned we burned some wood to get, to get ashes then we have a boiling water hot boiling water then we mix the hot boiling water with the ashes to make a concentrated ashes solution or a concentrated potassium hydroxide solution at home the more detail about how i made this solution will be in the description of this video we have already made a video that goes into details of how to make a potassium hydroxide solution at home so check it out but this is a summary so after putting a mix of ashes with hot water and mixing them together and then pouring them in a plastic bottle we, we end up getting something like this one here you can see that there are ashes that sit at the bottom of our plastic bottle so here we are going to make a hydrogen gas by using electrolysis method we are going to perform electrolytic reduction of water to produce hydrogen and oxygen and the positive electrode we are going to use this graphite 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 electrode that we get from a from from the battery from the dry cell and also we are going to use an aluminium at the negative electrode the power source will be the solar panel we get our, pow our power from the solar panel we will expose our solar panel at the sun to produce electricity and then instead of putting electricity at the battery to store it we are going to store our electricity in a form of hydrogen gas so we start by putting our solar panel at the sunlight expose it then we run the wires from the solar panel to the our electrolytic experiment here we've got a multimeter you can see that our solar panels produce around one point something amps and also it if you try to measure the voltage so here is a multimeter we are going to measure the voltage you have 21 volts so this is a reliable source of power we are going to put our solar panel and we are going to store our energy in the form of hydrogen gas instead of batteries so we insert the negative electrode our negative electrode is an aluminium we we just wrap al aluminium wire and we, then we insert it on a place that we, we want to collect hydrogen gas then we pour our potassium hydroxide solution on it pour it up to the top in order to remove all air around it you can see that our negative electrode sits at the at, at this plastic bottle here where we want to collect the hydrogen gas then we also going to have a positive electrode that will get a oxygen gas so here we just pour our potassium hydroxide solution to fill up our container then we'll take our graphite electrode this will be connected to the positive terminal of our solar panel and the negative terminal of our solar panel will be connected at the place that we want to collect hydrogen gas so we are going to put our glass and then we insert we invert it upside down then we will take a negative terminal from our solar panel and then we will connect it to the negative to the to the point that we want to connect to the point that we want to collect hydrogen gas you can see it here then after that we will close up our plastic bottle with a, with one hand and then invert it slowly upside down in order to and then slowly dip it in a solution in order to prevent water from getting out and prevent air from getting inside our plastic bottle we want to connect to collect only pure hydrogen gas so we have already connected the positive electrode and the negative electrode to our experiment and also i decided to use a multimeter in order to measure the amount of current produced by the solar panel and the current passing through our 
electrolytic experiment in order to know if the current is enough or not. You can see that on our graphite electrode we will get oxygen gas and on our aluminium electrode we will collect hydrogen gas. You can see that our multimeter reads about 0.23 amperes which is not enough so I decided to adjust to pull up the glass, the, the glass container in order to allow more electricity to pass through the solution and this has improved the production of hydrogen gas at the negative electrode. You can see that now we are getting a lot of hydrogen gas that is being generated because of, of adjustment that we made on our, on our experiment. So you may wonder why I didn't use a salt solution to perform this experiment. First of all, the salt solution produces a, a chlorine gas at the positive electrode and also a salt solution is not good to perform as an experiment. For example, I, I, I decided to prepare this potassium hydroxide solution at home because I will show you that there are a lot of uses for this solution of ashes. For example, I can make batteries. In the next video, I will also show you how to make batteries by using this so potassium hydroxide solution that I have made at home. So from time to time, as our experiment continued, we found out that there is a lot of hydrogen gas that has been generated at our negative electrode. And so we decided to put a plies to hold it in a position. So you can see that the sun is still shining and we have put our plies there in order to prevent our plastic bottle from tipping over because hydrogen gas is less dense and as it fill up our container it will pull it up so we have already collected enough hydrogen gas to perform a hydrogen gas test so here we just remove our plies and close our plastic bottle so advantage of storing a solar energy in the form of hydrogen gas is that we can store our hydrogen gas in for a very long time compared to storing the energy from the solar panel to the batteries we know that the battery lose capacity over time but when we put our solar energy at the, in the form of hydrogen gas we store it for a very long time and when you want to use it you can just burn it up as it, you can see it here This is the energy from the solar. We have just stored our solar energy in a form of hydrogen gas and in a form that we can burn it later to produce heat. We can put our hydrogen gas at the fuel cell to produce electricity. So this is one of efficient method to store a solar energy. So in the next video I will also show you another method of making hydrogen gas at home. You can make a lot of hydrogen gas with this another method without using electricity. So I will also go into much detail of how to prepare this potassium hydroxide solution at home so that you can make hydrogen gas, you can use it to make soap, you can use it to make batteries. All of this I will show you in the next video, so make sure that you subscribe and you watch my other videos.